lot of ladies wanting to wear the sleeveless dress but there is a swelling under underneath the armpit which always disturb them especially after the pregnancies and, deli- and you know like after the lactation usually that bulk becomes more evident so that is called axillary tail of fence actually the fence is a scottish doctor who uh, who gave the name to the name to it actually it is an extension of the breast tissue you know if you if you see the development of the breast there is something called milk line which extend from the armpit to the groin region so anywhere on the line sometimes there will be a aberrant breast tissue formation sometimes we see under the breast uh, you can see a nipple areola in few people especially the guys i notice when they coming coming for the gynecomastia surgery we notice a small uh, nipple underneath the uh, normal breast tissue and sometimes it will be in the armpit also sometimes only breast tissue forms see most of the people there will be a, a little bit of breast tissue which extend from the upper outer quadrant of the breast and extend to the armpit so that is called the axillary tail of breast or accessory breast axillary tail of fence and it it calls in various other names but basic problem is when we wear a, when the girls wear a sleeveless dress it automatically you know like bulges out it looks awkward so that's the only reason people come to us for the correction other issue is because of the axillary tail of uh, breast sometimes even the cancer breast can occur in that part of the breast also so so the, both the reasons we need to operate the axillary tail of breast so in cosmetic correction we do liposuction then followed by the gland excision which is underneath see we initially we tried only liposuction in various cases but end of the day patients are not happy because little bit of glandular element which is not coming out by liposuction which again gives a kind of a residual bulge so there is a few more papers articles published in uh, plastic and reconstructive surgery uh, surgery journal and that journal that few articles they cited if you do a liposuction followed by make a small cut and remove the glandular element the skin will redrape well if the the bulge the accessory breast is a mild to moderate variety this will work basically we do a small nick in the armpit we do a liposuction we make a small cut uh, in the over the swelling and we remove the glandular element but normally how we do the uh, axillary tail of breast we make a big cut around that swelling and remove the whole swelling and switch it back so which sometimes the scar might might be unsightly and it won't look good because of this uh, reason we f- we we follow nowadays the liposuction followed by the gland excision technique where the scar going to be very minimal and that scar going to be almost in the you know like that the root of the roof of the armpit so that nobody can see in normal situations so this armpit uh, the axillary tail of breast excision nowadays is very very common thing and we do almost 3 to 4 axillary tail of breast excision in a month and uh, it's one of the rewarding procedure and it's a day care surgery you come in the morning same day evening you will be discharged and uh, you will be given a tight plaster for two days post surgery you are supposed to wear a uh, uh, the tight fitting compression garment that for probably a two to three weeks you need to wear the garment according to the your severity of your problem if you have a severe uh, you know like more severe variety of the accessory breast obviously you need to wear it for a more than a month so hope you understand about the accessory tail of friends or the accessory breast and uh, if you have it you meet a plastic surgeon nearby they definitely help you to help you to get rid of this issue thank you